My name is Lindsay Douglas and I'm a speech language pathologist. I've been practicing for about 16 years now, really working with a lot of patients with dysphagia or swallowing disorders. Today, I'm going to be providing a demonstration with the Aspire 2 Swallow Stim, which we can use both in assessment and in treatment for our patients with dysphagia. It's important when we're starting out with our dysphagia assessment to gather as much information from the patient and often the caregivers as we can so we can get a clear picture of what's going on on a daily basis as our patient eats. A great tool for that is actually the Eat 10 and it's available for free online and it just walks our patients through just some of the common things we might see. Today, Aisha's already filled this out for us and I noticed on here that it mentioned that you were having some trouble when you're eating solids. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on with that? Sometimes swallowing meat is kind of hard. Like sometimes the meat will get stuck and I cough and gag. Okay, that sounds really uncomfortable. Yeah. Does it feel like it gets stuck in your throat? Yeah, Okay. sometimes. And what about when you're chewing things like meat or crackers or um, bread? Does it ever get stuck in your cheeks? Yeah. Okay. We see that sometimes when people are having trouble swallowing. Sometimes it gets away from them and gets stuck in their cheeks. And a lot of times they complain of things getting stuck in their throat too. You had indicated that your pleasure of eating is affected by your swallowing and that swallowing is stressful for you. So I can only imagine what that's doing for you at mealtime. Can you kind of tell me a little bit about how that's impacting you? When I had this gagging, coughing problem, I wouldn't want to eat anything. Like my, um, my parents would tell me to eat this or eat that and I just didn't want to eat anything then. And then, um, I started to lose the weight a little bit. I was gonna ask about that. That happens a lot when we don't feel like eating because it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Then a lot of times it leads to weight loss that we weren't looking to lose. You know, really based on all the things that we've been talking about, I really wanna take a closer look at kind of how these muscles are contracting and how they're moving when you swallow. Um, so that we'll kind of have a starting point for that. And then also so you can see how they're working. So we're gonna use our Aspire to Swallow Stim to do that today. I'm gonna grab the electrodes that we're gonna use. These are reusable if we're doing the E-Stim, but for Surface EMG, we're gonna need brand new ones. The first thing we have to do is this skin prep. I just need to wipe these where we're gonna place our electrodes. So we talked about these muscles under your chin. Thank you. And then also on your collarbone here, because that's where we're gonna stick our third electrode. So we'll let those dry and I'll get the electrodes while that's happening. So we're gonna take these and move them a little bit closer together. And I'm gonna put some tape on here. And the reason I'm doing that is just to give us an easy way to put them on. They'll stick fine on their own, but if we use this tape, we can hold on to the tape and these lead wires because we want to make sure that we don't touch the back of it. So I'm going to kind of peel these apart like this and see that nice shiny film on the back? That's our gel and I want to make sure I don't get my fingers on there. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feel for your swallow. So I want you to go ahead and swallow for me. Okay, perfect. And that kind of tells me where I'm gonna put these, okay? I'm gonna put these right over your suprahyoid muscles. So I'm kind of right in here. So I'm well above the level of the hyoid. And that's gonna read those muscles contracting right under there when we swallow. I need one more electrode. And this is our reference electrode. I'm gonna place it over there on your collarbone where we used our skin prep. And this takes a reading of all the muscle activation that's happening in your body in the background. So as you breathe and as you sit upright, you constantly have muscles that are working. 
So that way our device is gonna be able to read that. So now we've got those in place. The next thing we're gonna do is put our piece of adhesive wrap around, and that's just gonna pull those electrodes up nice and tight against your skin. And it just sticks to itself up here on top like that. Okay, does that feel okay? Okay, great. So now what I'm gonna do is grab the Aspire 2 Swallow Stem so we can start taking our readings. We'll go ahead and get our lead wires connected. First, we'll plug into the top of the unit. And next, we'll go ahead and get your electrodes plugged in. So what's great is these are color-coded. So our two yellows are gonna go to the electrodes under your chin over those super high weight muscles. And our black one is gonna go to this reference electrode, that one we said that was gonna filter out all the background noise. Okay, everything feel okay? Okay, great. So we're gonna power on our device and it starts out in our Surface EMG mode. So when I hit play, I'm gonna tell you to take a drink, and we're gonna do that three different times. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play, and go ahead and get that drink up there for us. And so what it's showing us here is the contraction for each swallow and then the average number two. So this is gonna give us a good way to know today this is our starting point. And then as we do therapy, we can see if these numbers go up, meaning those muscles are getting stronger. I wanna show you what your swallow actually looks like with our free iPad app. So I'll go ahead and get us logged in. What we're gonna do is let me connect it with a Bluetooth first, okay? And then what we can do is we can come in here and we're gonna do our swallowing just like we did on the device, but this time you're gonna see it happen on the screen here. So I'm gonna hit start, okay? Go ahead and take a good drink and swallow. Just a nice normal swallow, like what you do at dinner. Okay, so there it was. Now do it again and I want you to tighten those muscles as much as you can. Swallow really, really hard like you're trying to swallow a marble. So see, then we can see what those numbers were, just like we did on the device, but this gives us that up and down so you can see if you're doing the exercise right or not. And so then we can just touch here and move it so that we can see the value of that one, but it kind of gives you that up and down so you can see when you're really tightening up those muscles like we're asking you to do. That's something that we'll use throughout therapy just to kind of get a check in on how you're doing with contracting those muscles, okay? The next thing that we wanna do is right here on our Spire 2 Swallow Stem, we're gonna be able to switch over and start your e-stem without ever having to move your electrode. So that's gonna save us both some time. So I'm just gonna hit our mode button here and we can cycle through and go to e-stem and then we'll just hit play. This is gonna send a signal to your nerves that are gonna make your muscles contract. Okay, we're gonna make them work a little bit. And I wanna make sure that you're always comfortable while we're doing this, okay? So I'm not gonna turn it up unless you tell me it's okay. So we're just gonna gradually. Did you feel it? Okay. I want you to swallow anytime it's on. So what happens is this stays on for four seconds and then it goes off for 12. And so why don't you go ahead and get um, a drink here in just a second. Yep, go ahead, that's fine. Yep, and then swallow nice and hard. And so even if we're just in sensory where you're just feeling it and it's not moving your muscles yet, it's important to start kind of timing that. So I'm gonna feel for that swallow if that's okay. I'm gonna feel for that contraction. And do you feel it going on and off like that? That's perfect because we're trying to help really build those pathways so that your muscles are contracting when we need to, when we swallow. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our Guardian Unity Swallow Stim device. Because it's got two channels on it, 
which means that we can use it for e-stem for both sides of your face at the same time. During the assessment, we talked about how these muscles in your cheeks are weak, they're kind of low tone, and you're getting some food stuck in there. You mentioned when you're eating. So we're gonna use that placement on both sides of your face, and we're gonna try to see if we can make those muscles move. Now I'm gonna grab our device and our lead wires. These plug into the top of the device. And then now we're ready to go ahead and place our electrodes. This device is gonna have one channel going to one side and one to the other so we can control those separately if we need to. And we've got some different built-in programs here. So we could use this for a submental placement down here for these swallowing muscles, but we can also use it for the muscles on your face. So we're gonna go ahead and go to that facial program. And I just keep hitting my star button until I get to the right one. And then we're gonna get started here. We're gonna set our time to 30 minutes, and then we're gonna gradually start increasing. I wanna go ahead and try doing an exercise with it this next time. Can you see these bars across here? Those, see those little bars? Yeah. When they go on again, I want you to do a great big smile, as big as you can, okay? So now they're on, smile, big, big smile, as big as you can, as big as you can. There you go, work those muscles. Good, and then when the bars go away, you can relax. Good job. On our next one, we're gonna practice our chewing. So they're almost there, here they come. Now chew, 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 like a big piece of bubble gum. Yep, work that jaw, there you go. Keep chewing, keep chewing, keep chewing. And there go the bars, okay, great. So we do that those exercises every time the stim comes on so that we're always pairing something functional with our signal. That was a great job.